Mike, busy time for the gym. Yeah, uh, there's, there's a huge amount on. Obviously, we've got three guys uh, preparing for Perth. Uh, we've got another three preparing for the Contender Series, uh, plus everyone else preparing for fights at, uh, at different times of the year. Kevin Jusse is going to Paris as well. Carlos is coming back into the gym, so he'll probably have something towards the end of the year. So uh, just in UFC terms, it, it's hugely busy. And then you add in what we're doing sort of nationally every weekend um, with the fighters, so lots going on. Um, I'd just like to touch on that because you're involved in big time with the Alter program now. Can you tell us a little bit about that, the people out there that aren't too au fait with it? Yeah, um, I mean, we've just had our season eight from memory, um, you know, where we actually have so many people that we, we fight over two nights. Uh, we've had as many as, as 50 odd. Uh, fights spread out over two nights, so it's a hugely popular program. Uh, essentially, it's uh, it's the it was called the Wimp to Warrior program, and uh, now it's just the, the Warrior program. But it gives a chance for people to uh, experience what it's like to train and compete uh, in an MMA environment. It's, it's one of those bucket list things that really. Um, it's, it's a unique experience. It takes you into the, the 1% of, of the 1% who will make the walk to a cage or to the ring and in many ways just confronting uh, all the fears that you might have in a real sort of primal element. Um, we're fortunate we've got great coaches here at City Kickboxing and also Jason Borster runs it at Shuriken as well and he's one of the pioneers of New Zealand MMA. And what that allows is it allows for participants to get world-class coaching in a, in a safe environment where they can uh, experience something they wouldn't otherwise experience. It's a, it's a, it's a unique opportunity, it's a, it's a unique experience, and I'm saying that unique to you, the person. And um, you know, my life changed from when I had my first fight. Um, and that's not just in a competitive realm, it's in my approach to challenges and difficulties, um, my ability to, to operate in the unknown has all been influenced by um, you know, making the walk, in my case, to the ring or the cage. Um, how, how can people uh, get onto it? Is there a, a website somewhere? Trainelter.com. Uh, head on into Trainelter.com. Uh, City Kickboxing's just started. Uh, season 9 so it's still not too late to, to tag in there um, and there'll be other programs uh, around New Zealand and, and obviously more broadly around um, Australasia uh, and the rest of the world to be honest as well so just go on and, and check it out find a program that's close to you. Uh, the big focus of course is uh, Perth, uh, how's things going in the gym? Well final week now, um, we're all heading off on Sunday um, so the, the boys are going well, uh, you know, Dan, Kai and Israel all have extremely tough fights. They're competing at the, at, the, at the elite level against elite level guys. Obviously Izzy's looking to uh, create history, uh, reclaim the title for the third time against a guy who is young, powerful, unorthodox and dangerous and more importantly full of confidence. So that's a massive ask. Um, you know, we, we all know that uh, as you get older, um, you know, your motivation may wander, your, you know, some of your, your injury tolls stack up. Um, so that's always the battle at this stage of someone's career. But for Izzy, this is a legacy fight. If, if he reclaims the title a third time, um, yeah, that is, that's something that's not been achieved before at any level. And, um, and, and it's, a superb, uh, it's a superb achievement. Uh, Hook has got Gamrot. Gamrot is extremely difficult. Um, he's a relentless wrestler. He's also very good with his striking. Um, you know that propels him straight back into top five contention and with, within Kui of a of a title shot potentially, particularly after that victory over Jalen Turner. Both the guys have victories over Jalen. Uh, so you know, fascinating fight. Um, you know, does Hooker have the antidote for Gamrot's wrestling? and does uh, Gamrod have the antidote for Hooker's striking, so really interesting fight. And obviously Ursig and Kai, Ursig's just come off a title challenge with Pantoja. Uh, Pantoja beat him with pressure, um, you know, and, and a really good ground game. Kai's a slightly different fighter, obviously hits a lot harder, 
um, but not as not as accomplished in the jiu-jitsu area. Ursig's good everywhere. He has proven that he's he should be uh, in that title conversation, top one, two, or three. So you know, again for Kai, uh, particularly after the issues he had with concussion, uh, and and frankly getting ripped off um, in, in his previous bout. Um, and I'll say that again, ripped off in his previous bout. Um, you know, this is his opportunity to put himself back into that title reckoning. And with Kai's power, you can never count him out. But really difficult opponent and fighting on his home territory. So, you know, we've got a big ask in front of us for all three of those guys. Is it a uh, first for CKB to have the co-main event and the main event? You know what, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but we've, we've been on cards in hindsight, where we had six fighters on, um, where we've had a lot of fighters on a card. We've, we've always just done that. Um, so we just need to rise to the challenge. We've got, you know, we've got uh, five or six world-class coaches. Um, so we know how to slot in and slot out and, and prepare for these bouts um, and prepare the guys and put the right people in place for them. So, you know, we'll do that uh, as we always do. Um, and our focus isn't diminished. Our focus stays on the, on the guys. Um, we've got a lot of eyes on them and a lot of very, very talented, world-class coaching eyes. So we'll be fine. Uh, talk about Izzy just for a second or two. Um, he, everyone I've spoken to on, on camera, off camera, the big guys like Benny Johnson and, and um, Nev and all the boys here, uh, they've all, all talked about how strong and uh, how more powerful as he is. Uh, you probably had first-hand experience of that yourself. Yeah, and I was sparring in the early part of camp as a switch hitter. Um, but yeah, for sure, he's, he's strong, he's prepared. He's had time off to refresh his body, so we expect that to translate. Um, so is Duplessis. Duplessis is a Shrek, you know, and that's part of what uh, allows him to operate in his fights. He's not only unorthodox, um, where he lacks technical gifts, he's very strong and sometimes powers his way through. So, you know, obviously strength is, is needed to counteract that. And uh, the other thing you obviously need too is you, you need a gas tank, because Duplessis has a real good gas tank. Um, we've never had any real issues with, with gassing in fights. Um, so, you know, we just need to play it out play it by ear. We know that Duplessis is going to come hard, he's going to hit hard, he's got a dangerous uh, top game, um, you know, he, he uses pressure to pass a lot, he's got very good submissions, uh, you know, from, from front headlock to Das to Anaconda and he takes the back well. So, you know, we're prepared for that as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, in a nutshell, you need a bit of strength to take care of some of those issues. Sometimes strength and muscle uh there's a payoff with, uh, and, and Izzy's always been like super fast reflexes. Uh, is there any trade off there, or has he managed to be able to uh, keep both in play? Uh, look, it's been a program that's been on for a while. The problems when you have the trade offs are if you suddenly gain a whole lot of weight and aren't used to carrying it. That's not the case here. And the other thing is, we're not talking about uh, Israel all of a sudden being 10 kilos heavier. It's just not the case. He's just done. He's just prepared well. He's, uh, you know, done uh, or developed a, a good strength program, and then that's translated over the periodization of, of camp um, into what he needs for this fight. Um, so no, I don't think that's a major issue. Uh, well, we look to uh, catch up with you when you get back in a fortnight's time, mate. With the goodies. Yeah, well, hopefully we get the goodies, and don't forget, we'll uh, Eugene and I will pretty much be leaving from Perth to go straight away to Contender, contender Series with uh, Cam Ralston as well. So it'll be Perth, Vegas, and at some point we'll find our way back to New Zealand. <laughs> when you do, find your way back to Combat TV. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that.